Sean Sewell with Ingima.com. These are the Vesque Breeze LT GTX Mid. This is the low. The mid and the low are probably my two favorite lightweight, hiking, waterproof, backpacking shoes for a lot of reasons. So I did a review on the low top, the LT GTX back in July of 2020. And I gave you a glowing review for a lot of reasons. And I'll, I'll point out they're the same shoe or boot, just this is the mid topper, you know, low high top. So you can see a little bit better on this one, their 25% lighter sole, uh, the light base as they call it, is kind of that perforated kind of um, looking material right there. It's on the boot as well. And that gives a little bit more shock absorption in my opinion. It's lighter weight by 25% over the Breeze 3. So I'm all a fan of lightweight, more cushion, and then this traction is legit. So here is the Vibram Make a grip traction right there. And then here is after one year of constant use. And they look the same. So as far as an investment goes in hiking or backpacking boots or just waterproof shoes or boots, the Mega Grip from Vibram is, is legit for sure. Other things I like about them is it's a bit more of a narrow foot. A narrow, narrow fit, I should say. I have a narrow foot, 11 and a half to 12, depending on a shoe. This is an 11 and a half, this is a 12. In the review for this one, I was using more of a thinner merino sock for the summertime. And then I use this during the fall and the winter here uh, for snowy conditions. I uh, would not use it for super cold conditions. It's not insulated, it's not claimed to be so. I've reviewed other Vasquez boots to have insulation. I recommend I put that below. But for lightweight, breathable, which is very important, and waterproof, the Breeze LT GTX is hard to beat. Now they have traditional kind of waterproof, heavier backpacking boots. If that's your style, I'll have a review on this uh, Talus XT Low. There's a Talus um, XT Mid as well. We did a review on it as well. And I'll keep that separate, but for, you can see the fit. So more narrow fit, more typical traditional wide fit, lighter weight, more substantial and heavier weight. So back to the Breeze, which I love so much. This is the black color. Uh, I have the tan color and I had the low top like I just showed you. Very attractive. I love it because I don't usually tie my shoes, which sounds ridiculous, but as a fitness professional, I like to have a lot of ankle mobility. Again, if you're gonna go hiking, I'd recommend you tie your shoes, but as you can tell, I don't. So I love that the laces stay in place. They don't fall out. So that, that to me, this little itty bitty grommet right here is a big deal. So I can just slip my foot in here, go walk my dogs in the, the morning here in Denver and um, slip them on when I go train at the gym. And then when I'm out here, like I'm coming back up here, we're just gonna split where I'm gonna come back up here to Jones Pass and go winter camping. And I'm gonna use these until the sun goes down because it's all of like 35 degrees or so. These are great in 35 degree temperatures, in my opinion. Again, if I was gonna be in colder winter temperatures, which it will be tonight, I'd use my other Vasque insulated boots, which are legit. Something like 200 grams of insulation in there. But if you're looking for a lightweight, incredibly good traction, Vibram traction, that Mega Grip, good cushion, something you can be on your foot, on your feet all day long, I would recommend these in a heartbeat. You saw how much of a glowing review I gave the low top last summer. It's now um, March of 21, and I'm so excited they sent these over in a size 12. That way I can wear them with a middle or medium width uh, sock, like a, a thicker merino sock, and then continue wearing breeze year round, <laughs> which is great. Uh, Vesque, we've done a review on about half of their boots, men's and women's. And we're teaming up with them over the next several weeks to review pretty much most of their kids, women's, and men's boots. So stay tuned for reviews, not just for myself, but from Nicole Doty, um, Mike Opland, Mike Opland's kids. We're gonna have a whole wide gamut of uh, different backgrounds from different people and their opinions on Vesque boots and shoes as well. It's not just my take. Um, but I'll leave you with this. If you're looking for an attractive, lightweight, waterproof hiking shoe, you don't have to go hiking. You can use around the city like I do training or up here camping or hiking or just need a, a really subdued, you know, urban waterproof shoe. The Breeze LT GTX is where it's at. This traction is so, so good. Uh, I've used it um, in sand. We're in the sand dunes. I've used it in dirt, in mud, um, summer camping, winter camping, snow, ice, everything. It's just, it's one of my favorite treads. And for comparison, here's a more traditional Vibram tread, a lot heavier. This one has better grip in my opinion. Um, we'll get to review for, on the Talus uh, in the next video. But yeah, 
I'll stop talking so you can get onto your life and do something else with it. <laughs> but if you choose to buy them, well, I'll link below. Again, high top or the low top. Sean Sewell with Ingamer.com. Hope you found this review on the sizing, specs, and my preferences, what I like about it on the Esquay Breeze LT GTX helpful. Till next time, take care.